Now let's see question number 8. A cylindrical tank contains 180,000 centimeter cube of water. So that's my volume. Anything in cube is volume. And the radius is 45 centimeter. Calculate the height of the water tank. Now remember, if we know the area of any shape and the whole sh area shape continues throughout the whole figure, then if you multiply with that length which is continuing throughout the figure we can find the volume okay what i mean that if i know the area of this which is a circle which is pi r square right and then if i know that this circular shape is continued throughout the shape so if i multiply this throughout length i will get my volume okay so this is my length or in other words height so I will get my volume. Remember that for a rule for this question we will say pi we can we can use 3.142 times r which is 45 squared times height which is what we are looking for times volume which is 180,000 okay and just so pi and 45 square is being multiplied with h on the right hand side they will be divided and that will be our h okay so it will be h is equals to 180,000 over 45 square times pi which is 28.29 and so on to three significant figures it will be 28 point three okay part b the diagram shows an empty tank in the shape of a horizontal prism of length 150 centimeter the cross section of the prism is an isosceles trapezium a b c d a b is 50 centimeter c d is 70 the vertical height is 40 and of the trapezium we have to calculate the volume again if I can find the area of this front part which is a trapezium and then I multiply with the length which is exactly the same shape continuing throughout the shape I will get the volume okay so area times the length will give me the volume this is the rule I just told you so what is the formula for the area of trapezium is half times a plus b a and B are the parallel sides as you can see this is a horizontal line this is a horizontal line so these two are parallel so 70 plus 50 or 50 plus 70 these are my two parallel sides times the distance between the two parallel sides which is 40 okay the distance between the two parallel sides which is 40 this is my area of trapezium and if I multiply this with the length which is throughout continuing in the shape which is 150 I will get my volume okay which is 360,000 okay part 2 write your answers in liters so if you know how to convert from centimeter to liter you can do this otherwise uh, so it, this is one of those questions either you know it or you don't know it so from centimeter cube to liters what we have to do is divide by 1000 okay to liters so divide 360,000 by a thousand you will get 360 part C the 180,000 centimeter cube of water flows from the tank in part A into the tank in part B in part A from A to B okay at a rate of 15 centimeter cube per second so this is a sort of a speed calculate the time it this takes give your answers in hours and minutes first of all let us find the answer in seconds because this is in a second then we can convert that's not a big problem so what we have is 15 centimeter and by, uh, just in the previous question we just did what if we want to find the time what we can do is its distance divided by speed okay so but you might not be sure which one is distance and which one is speed but this one looks like a speed so and if this is speed then this should be the distance isn't it 
So if I say it's 180,000 centimeter cube over 15 centimeter cube per second okay this is what and even if you solve this one using the units you know that this the thread which is being divided with the dividend it's it's exactly the same thing as saying I am writing the s here okay so it's it's exactly the same thing and these two will be cancelled so our answer will be in seconds which is what we are looking for though so this means this is correct so this is one of the ways if you if you want if you are not sure if 115 goes up or 8 180 goes up okay so it will be 180,000 divided by 150 Sorry, I mean divide by 15 and you will get 1, 2, 0, 0, 0. Now this is in seconds. To, to convert from second into minutes, I will divide it by 60 and I will get 200 minutes. But I want in hours and minutes. So again divide by 60 to get it into hours and I will get 3.33 something so at least I can write 3 hours now I still need to convert this into minutes so I will just take the 0 0.3333 and multiply it back to 60 to get the other remaining 20 minutes okay in other way we can still find that 3 hours from the 200 minutes is 180 minutes so the remaining is 20 minutes okay D part we are given um, uh, oh, okay so this is actually the front of what we just did here okay the 70 the 40 the 50 it's the front they are they have put it over here the 180 thousand centimeter cube of water reaches the level EF as shown above EF is X centimeter the height of the water is H using the properties of similar triangles so if we don't use the properties of similar triangles there is no way we can show that H is equals to 2x minus 50 okay so first of all we have to break it into a triangle and a similar triangle why because they will have the same one of the lengths will be the, exactly the same so let me just break it into a triangle okay now this is a triangle and exactly the same thing here even though it's not required but just to show you some points it may be required okay and the other the other triangle within this is this one is this one okay so there are two similar triangles so let's say the larger triangle side is 40 this one this slanting side is 40 and this one is H so if I take H over 140 and then what about the other side which we can take we cannot take this side but we can take these two sides this side and this side so this side divided by this side what is this side this is a bit these two uh, to know these two it's a bit tricky why because this whole side is X out of this whole side X if I take out my 50 I will have this side and this side isn't it but I don't want two of these sides I want just half of them because I don't want both of them okay so I will say if I take out from X the whole 50 I will have two of these sides but I just want one of them which means I have to divide them by two or I have to I or I can say I have to take the half of them okay and what about then this side out of the 70 again if I take out this 50 this part this is the 50 part exactly the same thing from down these two will be remaining and these two have to be same so the total should be 20 and because there are two there are 10 and 10 that's how they can be 20 okay so 20 plus 50 and this whole side becomes 70 that's how so this one side is 10 okay now all we can do is just solve this to get our answer this 40 is being divided over here on the right hand side it will be a multiply so it will be h is equals to half x minus 50 times 40 divided by 10 and when you solve this you will get h is equals to 2x minus 50 okay 
this is 4 times uh, half of 40 is 20, 20 divided by 10 is 2, okay, that's how. Now part 2, using h is equals to 2x minus 50, show that the shaded area in centimeter square is x square minus 2500. Again, we know this shape is a trapezium. To find the area of trapezium, we will have exactly the same formula. So these are the two parallel sides and the distance between these two sides is h. Okay. So half times a plus b, the two parallel sides, one was x, the other one was 50, the distance between the two was h and we can write h as 2 times x minus 50. Okay. 2 times x minus 50 and this is my area okay so just solving this will give us this one okay I'll just quickly solve this half of this will be multiplied with both of them so it will be x over 2 plus 25 this will become 2x times 25 oh sorry times 100 sorry 2x minus 100 and then I have to further multiply x times x is x square and 2 times a half is 1 so it will become just x square okay then x times half of x times 100 is 50x minus 50x and then 25 times 2x is again a positive 50x and then 25 times 100 is minus 2500 okay so these two will be cancelled we will have x squared minus 2500 hence proved okay this is first you multiply this with this one and then this with the other one and then we do exactly the same thing with the other one okay find the value of x now we have already discussed that if we know the area which is x squared minus 2500 and then we multiply it with the length which is being continued which was 15 because it's the same shape okay was it 15 oh, it was it was 150 where to go it was 150 and the volume was uh, 180 thousand and now we can find the value of x okay so this 150 will be divided over here and then this 2500 will be a positive and this square will become a root okay so it will be x is equals to 180,000 divide by 150 and then plus 2500 and everything on under the root okay which is 60.82 and so on and final answer will be 60.8 now the final part find the value of h we already know the value of h we can take it oh not no not from here from here yeah h is equals to 2 times x minus 50 h is equals to 2 times x minus 50 x we already know is this one or the value already we have in calculator so we'll just substitute here 60.8 okay and you will get you will get 21.65 and so on sorry 21.65 and our answer to three significant figure will be 21.7 remember don't just don't lose any part just because you didn't, didn't you never knew the part before that you can always assume values okay just don't miss any part okay this question is done